The Courtyard Theme Park Entrance Hotel is consistently ranked in the top spots of hotel review websites. Stay tuned to find out what all the hype is about in this Honest Hotel Review. Hey everyone, this is Julia with Honest Hotel Reviews and today I'm at the Courtyard Anaheim Theme Park Entrance location at 1420 South Harbor Boulevard at the Disneyland Resort. In this video, I'll give you an honest tour and review of the hotel while rating it out of five in the following categories. Overall experience, hotel amenities, room, and value. But stick around to the end to find out the total score and to find out who I'd recommend this hotel to. This video is not sponsored, so if you find it helpful, help us hack that YouTube algorithm by giving us a like, leaving a comment, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. This is one hotel I have always wanted to stay at, but never did until now, simply because it was either totally booked or really expensive. From the photos, it is easily the nicest looking and most comprehensive hotel located right across the street from the South Harbor Boulevard entrance to Disneyland Park. And that's exactly what it was. At a quick pace, it took me about seven minutes to walk from the hotel entrance to the park. This hotel is well appointed. Everything was a breeze. The staff were very friendly, my room was ready when I arrived early at 10 a.m., and everything was clean and comfortable. Even my no-view room had a view of the Matterhorn, and I could see the fireworks at night. The location is not only close to Disneyland, it's also close to a variety of restaurants. Mimi's Cafe, which has excellent breakfast and amazing muffins, is right in the parking lot. Plus, there's a Panera Bread, McDonald's, and IHOP all on your walk to Disneyland. I had such a good experience here, I gave them a 4.5 out of 5. The only thing that took them down a notch was that the water park needed reservations and you could only book a two hour time slot. This hotel is literally surrounded by two water parks, their Surfside Water Park and the water park located at the Howard Johnson next door. So no matter where your room is, if that balcony door is open during the day, you're gonna hear this clanging sound. But that's just me splitting hairs, I guess. The Courtyard Inn & Suites has some amazing hotel amenities, and that Surfside Water Park really takes the cake. The water park was so tempting, I almost went and played in it myself. And you can even see the Matterhorn across the street. The pool deck has plenty of lounge chairs, tables, and umbrellas. However, those Santa Ana winds were howling while I was there, so we were asked not to use them. Being super fair-skinned, that left little options for me, but I found myself some shade beside the two water slides. They had very attentive lifeguards on duty, which is always wonderful to see. The hot tub was undergoing some work while I was there, and the pool here is quite small and quickly became overrun with kids. And it's for this reason that I wouldn't necessarily recommend this to you if you're traveling solely with a group of adults or as a couple, unless you don't plan on spending any time in the pool. But I will say it's an epic place to splash around if you're a kid. One thing I loved about this hotel is the water bottle refill stations. There was one near the restrooms on the pool deck as well as one in the lobby close to the elevators. This saves you from those super pricey Disneyland water bottles. While there's no proper restaurant at this hotel, there is a fantastic bistro that not only serves Starbucks coffee, but it also serves amazing food. I ordered the breakfast wrap and it was so good, I had to get it twice during my stay. 
It came with a side of fresh fruit, fresh guacamole, and pico de gallo. If you're not finding what you need here, there's also a gift shop that serves snacks and beverages and sells sundries and souvenirs. As well as a quick grab and go right beside the front desk. The fitness center was clean and had everything you'd need. They also had laundry machines available for guests to use for a fee. There's also a small business center with a couple computers right in the lobby. The amenities here were definitely better than average, so I gave them a 4 out of 5. I booked a two queen no view room and it had everything a family needed and more. In addition to the two queen beds, there was a bunk bed, so this room could sleep a family of six comfortably. One thing you don't see at many hotels that they have here is a little table nooked right into the corner with enough seating for two to three adults or four kids. The beds were on the firm side, but comfortable, but I really appreciated that they were clean. Not a spot or a stain on any of the sheets or blankets. And there were sufficient outlets for charging devices at the bedside and around the room. There was a flat screen TV where you can log into Netflix and YouTube. They even left extra garbage bags and sanitizing wipes as they weren't doing full room cleanings during my stay. There was also a good amount of storage in the room. Beside the desk was a coffee machine with Wolfgang Puck coffee and tea. I love that they have a good microwave and a very nice sized mini fridge in the rooms. When I stayed here, I had just come from the Grand Californian and the mini fridge there is honestly about a third of the size of the one here. There was a large closet with shelves and hangers, an iron, ironing board, safe, and luggage stand. And between the closet and the door, there was a little nook with an outlet where you might be able to fit an electric scooter. Now this is something you don't see in many hotel rooms. The bathroom was also geared towards larger families. The vanity had two sinks and there were two showers. One was the shower tub combination in the same room as the vanity. The other was the standalone shower in the same room as the toilet. One thing I found a little strange is the toiletries were kind of hastily placed. I don't know if I'm just being too particular here. Since some of them were placed backwards or upside down, it had me wondering if they were in such a rush, did they rush over some of the cleaning too? But hey, the room was clean. There was also a full-sized hairdryer in the room and a decent amount of towels for two to four people. If you had this room full with six guests, you would definitely need to ask for more. The room is one place I would say the photos looked better than it did in person. Because it's so popular, this is a very well-used hotel, so there were scuffs and dings around the room that showed a little bit. Even so, these rooms are in the best shape when I compare them to all the hotels directly across the street from Disneyland. Now, even though I booked a no-view room, I was so excited that when I opened my sliding door, I could look out and see the Matterhorn and even watch the fireworks from the comfort of my own room in my PJs at night. That was a huge plus. Although I couldn't hear anyone in the rooms beside me, I could really hear the stomping and crying child in the room above me at 11 p.m. Plus, as I mentioned earlier, there was that clanging during the day from the water park. 
But in all honesty, this was a lovely room, so I gave it a 4 out of 5. Next up is value. This hotel is pricey, but its location and quality is hard to beat, especially if you're a family of more than four. This hotel allows families of six to not have to deal with the hassle of renting adjoining rooms, which can be really stressful. So even though it's pricey, we gave it a four out of five for value. This gives the Courtyard Theme Park Entrance Hotel an overall score of 4.13 out of 5, which ranks it right up there with some of our favorite hotels. I would 100% recommend this hotel, especially if you're a family of 5 or more, and it fits your budget. This is definitely the cleanest hotel that I've experienced directly across the street from the park. If you're considering other hotels in the Disneyland area, head over to our YouTube channel or check us out at honesthotelreviews.com for more hotel recommendations and travel tips. I'm Julia, and this has been another Honest Hotel Review.